Hey everybody, I'm John Harms, founder and CEO of Millennium Systems International. Excited about today. Uh, I get to spend time with two smart salon owners that are, are use Mevo every day. And you know, I'm passionate about the tool and they're passionate about how they use it. And we're very excited to go over several different things. Uh, to, so the first thing we're gonna go over is uh, the smart centers that Mevo has. And we'll explain what those are for the non Mevo customers. And then we're also gonna go over five-star reviews. So getting that feedback from clients is so important. So without further ado, uh, I'm gonna introduce Bob McConey uh, in the upper left-hand corner. He is uh, owner of 183 Main Studio and is, uh, comes from a long legacy of his mother being a salon owner as well. And then Steven Swanson, who's a strategies coach, salon owner, multi-salon owner, uh, and uh, power user of Mevo too, and very passionate about the things that we're gonna talk about today. So thank you guys for joining me today. And let's dive into the tool. Let the tool be our guide. Be it. So what I'm showing you right now, we call the smart centers. And when we were designing Mevo too, I said, you know what? Why have software come up with a pretty Mevo uh, logo or a 183 main logo, but nothing else around it. When our company is very passionate about giving KPIs and tools to help uh, a salon grow, uh, this is my, my baby when we were building this. I said, I want people to be able to design dashboards that that's the background of the screen. There's not going to be any stylist that doesn't know what their average ticket is. I'm going to know what the estimated sales are, all those different types of things. So in this example, this is... Um, Bob Salon's uh, uh, smart centers. And then we're gonna go through a couple of them. Each grouping of smart centers, you can define as many as these as you want. You can define the colors to match your brand. In Bob's example here, he actually does show an image with his logo, uh, but even that's clickable to bring you to something. So um, before I dive in too much, Bob, why don't you just talk briefly about this first front desk smart center, and then I'm gonna uh, jump in and let uh, Steve talk a little bit about some of the things that are important to him on his uh, KPIs that he has on his uh, smart centers. Sure, sure. Thanks, Simon. Yeah, I wanted to create a smart center that gave my front desk professionals the tools they need to do their job. And also people walk in, so like in our salon, a lot of our stylists will go behind the front desk and they also need to see certain tools, certain things. So you'll see here, I have the appointment book and register. I put key things in like new clients. My front desk needs to know how many new clients are coming in, who those new clients are, where they're going. So if you click on that little run button, you'll see that information. If they have multiple services, I know that ahead of time. So again, we know the value of every new cl uh, client, how important that new client is to us. So the job of the front desk is to right away analyze those new guests that are coming in today. And in Millennium, we had something called a monitoring station. We brought that over. So if John clicks on that, you can see all the details within that monitoring station that are important to that front desk, the status of the guests. Are they checked in, checked out, running late kind of thing. So all that information is right there at your fingertips. And then of course the reviews, You'll see at the bottom right now, so they, we haven't posted reviews that you know, our clients haven't, but we sent out, we ran up 14 sales already. We had sent out reviews or ratings to these clients. And in a few minutes, you'll, you may see that by the end of the demo, these reviews or ratings start to come in and populate. Yeah, one of the things I wanted to mention is if you notice a point book, register, drawer, time clock, confirmation manager, we've got a very beautiful confirmation manager that even shows the status of all your confirmations for whatever day you want. Maybe I want to see what confirmations we're doing for tomorrow and what the status of that is. Um, but anything that you can actually access in the software, you can create as a smart center tool. So what Bob's done here is people don't even have to know to go to Mevo and then down to the register and then down to register here to ring up somebody, right? What they, he can do is actually just create the shortcut to those tiles right on here. So this becomes the world of the front desk. Or if I move over to the next thing, you'll see the world of the stylus where a stylus uh, has sent out 30 uh, smart uh, uh, five-star reviews like Bob was talking about. We're going to go over that in a minute. Um, but three out of 30 people have actually put in uh, reviews and obviously they've uh, brought in five-star reviews, which is great. So um, let's go a little bit here, Bob, on Stylus. And then I'm going to ask um, Stephen to chime in uh, as well. I know, um, you know, pick one or two. And then I, I know one of the things that Stephen wants to talk about, if you leave that one for him, would be the estimated sales piece of it. Yeah, I mean, again, in creating this, I actually met with my stylist and I, you know, talked about what are some of the things you really want to see? And of course, I wanted, I incorporated the things I wanted them to manage as well. So, of course, I, one of the first things I created was the goals dashboard. Again, we're a very goal. I was, I'm, I was born goal driven. John knows that. And, 
and, I, and our salon is very goal driven as well. So later on, I'm sure John's going to show you the goals that we set up. But I wanted them, I wanted them to have that access while they're in the salon, but more importantly, where they're home. And I put here, you'll see my estimated sales today, and you'll see my estimated sales tomorrow. So they can go and see what their goals are for tomorrow and what their estimated sales are tomorrow. So they can start thinking, okay, I need to upgrade. I need to start thinking of upgrading my clients because my I'm not meeting my goal expectation or retail expectation. So all that is kind of the way we, 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 uh, we kind of figured this out, the, created the smart center. And same thing with, again, I'll let Steve talk to estimated sales, but we also gave them the time clock. So they can, on their phone, as they're in the salon, they can clock themselves in, clock themselves out. That, that's a key point, Bob, that I missed is Mevo, 100% of the system works on a phone or an iPad or a tablet. So when they open their phone, th these scale down really pretty and sit in their phone nice so that their first thing that they're seeing is, uh, again, their world and they can scroll through these KPIs or get to the main parts of the system without even having to hit a sub menu. So Stephen, talk to me about two things. Talk to me about how you use estimated service sales and, and yeah. estimated sales in general and that my clients rebook today and being able to monitor the importance of rebook, which we both are so, so passionate about. Right. I think those two things go, go hand in hand. I, I do want to touch on one thing before we go past it is the importance of that front desk dashboard. You know, again, that's a profit center. When we think about our guest service team and think about the, the value that they can bring to the business. Everything at their fingertips is allows us to be able to fill time. How to fill, how to take a look at who's coming in, when they're coming in, to give 100% great customer satisfaction, customer service to our guests. But how can I, how can I be a part of building the or getting heart to our goals? I think that's a, a huge thing that our guest service can do. So when we start to look at, you know, sales and things like that, even for the front desk, they they have an, a 100% um, buy-in to uh, reaching goals. So um, yeah, so the guest care. So, you know, for strategies, we've asked and we partnered with, with, um, with Mevo to have our own smart centers. So in here, we've asked John, like, what are the things that I need to know as a guest service person that can drive sales? You know, how, what is my contribution? Well, um, of course, I'm, I'm looking at pre-books and that was one thing that we talked about is that I have a direct correlation to help get that across into the appointment book, you know, um, productivity. I, that's another one I may want to look at. Where are we at as far as productivity and sales? So, um, if we're low on productivity, what can I do? Where can I go to start filling time? So, in here, we can also have different reports that we can go to. We can click on to see who hasn't been in since. Um, so, there's a lot of things that we can do, um, you know, in that position. And even getting to certain reports. So, it's not just features and functionality and KPIs, you can actually drop in the key reports you want them to run every day. So they just click this and there it is. So in the example, register summary is one of the most common reports people use every day. Boom, there you go. So training a new front desk staff member, it's, it's really easy with these smart centers and dashboards to get them to where they need to go and teach them their world without starting here. You know, if I go here, and I go to data, look at all these things. Look at that, if I click on register, oh, look, yeah, at cool. things. Look, at, look at all the appointment stuff. Like, where do I start? Well, guess I, what? If I'm a new guest service person right here, this is my world. Well, it really simplifies, but it also, again, we were long time um, millennium customers. And again, the, basically the, you know, other than the monitoring station, you know, you're, you're a, basically the appointment book was up all day. You know, so you just stared at the appointment book. Well, now the smart center, that's where everyone, you know, yeah, I'm looking at the appointment book, but I'm looking for opportunity. So our, my, my opportunity, me as a service uh, of guest service person is guest care. What can I do to, to help reach goals? Yeah. You know, I could dig in right here. How, what's our distance to go? All of that. I can see right at my fingertips. And, and, and then leadership, leadership stuff, you know, why don't you talk a little bit about this? Right. So the, the, again, part of the things we, we were getting into is around the, the estimated service sales. So the reason why I want to look at estimated service sales, I obviously, if we're setting goals for the month and that's, you know, how much is on the book right now, that's where it's coming from. That pre-book that, you know, pre-books are nothing more than, than dollars in the future. So when we're looking at pre-booking an appointment, it's not an appointment. Those are future revenue. So the, the work I do today is the planting the seeds for what I do in the next 90 days. 
So if I want to be successful in the future, I have to pre-book better. And so when we look at um, goal setting, we look at something that we call the 90, 60, 30 goal setting. So we set our goals for the next 90 days, our sales goals. And then we take our pre-books and we look at the estimated service sales. So I would like to be by the end, let's say, for instance, by the end of November, I would like to be 90% to goal for December, 60% to goal for January, and then a February, I'd like to be 30% to goal, all right? So I have those already set. So when I'm looking at, so when I look at the estimated service this month, then I have estimated service next month, that's telling me how I'm doing with pre-booking, right? So if my pre-booking is, is at 53, I need to be at least 70% plus to be able to get to our future goals. So if I come into next month, uh, Bob, if you got, if you started your month at ninety percent to goal, everything else is gravy. Yes, yeah. like it's simple. Yep. Your, yeah. your style. The, the, the bonus day. after that. Yeah. All bonus after that. Yep. You got it. You got it. So those little gaps of those that ten percent um, to goal, uh, other than re- obviously we got to re- still reach our retail goals, but the service is set, so you don't have to have people running around. Oh my God, my day is you know I, I, I I'm not busy today, and I'm calling people today to fill time. Can you call people from next week to fill my day today or you know, whatever they're doing? It makes it simpler. You know, you wonder why that Saturday went so smoothly because you were busy and everyone was booked properly. Well, when you, when you concentrate on pre-booking and you're doing that in the right way, your days will be set the way you want. Mm-hmm.